taken advantage of, betrayed, I don't know, just sort of uh, confused. That's artist John Byrne's reaction after realizing someone had stolen his painting of a guitar pedal off the hallway's wall at Ragged Records and Music in Rock Island. You know, there's a couple pieces I'm, I've been holding on to that, uh, that I, for whatever reason, don't want to sell yet or don't want to sell and would rather keep. And the painting he created a decade ago was one of those that was not for sale. You know, it was part of, uh, the design was part of a mural I painted at a recording studio in Davenport, so it kind of had, had some sentimental value to me. He made a post on Facebook that has been shared more than 100 times to get his painting returned. He says it's a good feeling to know that people want to help. Yeah, I guess it's nice to see people rally behind something uh, they believe in, you know, and try to help get it returned. I do suggest those same people do more to support local art. He says the art community has experienced a huge blow after Midcoast Arts announced the ceasing of its operation. You know, uh, we're more and more we're having local art institutions close their doors. So, uh, you know, if you really care about art, get out there and support local artists. Burns says this is the message he wants to send out to the person who took a piece of art that means so much to him. Not cool. Whoever took it feels bad. They can leave it in our lobby downstairs and no questions asked. You know, they, they could do it and just return it and nobody would know. And Byrne says there are cameras outside the store. However, it did not provide any evidence. He is offering another one of his paintings as a reward for information leading to the person responsible. Live in the studio, Aaliyah Sims, Local 4 News. Aaliyah,